Can you think of a single company that isn't using cloud today? That's how important cloud has become. Even non-tech businesses like construction or shipping rely on cloud services to scale up their operations and reduce costs. This is both a good and a bad thing. Bad for companies because the demand for cloud has never been higher, which means they're struggling to find people with cloud skills. Which is good news for you because if you get the skills to work on the cloud, you'll find job openings anywhere you go. And if you're interested in cloud security, that's even better news because there's a talent shortage in security too. So your skills will be twice as useful. That's why I'm here to help you figure out how to start your cloud security career and earn a salary of $100,000 or more. This video is brought to you by AppSec Engineer, the world's leading platform for hands-on security training. Let's start by answering a question. What skills does a cloud security engineer need to have? Now, I should mention that the role of a cloud security engineer is by no means an entry level role. You're going to need to have a few years of experience either as a cloud developer or a security engineer to be comfortable getting into cloud security. There are six main skills you need to be a cloud security engineer. One, knowledge of different cloud providers and services. This one seems pretty obvious, but it's easy to forget that while AWS, Azure, and GCP have mostly similar offerings, they still have tons of unique features and services that you should know about. Not that you need to be a complete expert in all three, but knowing the fundamental principles of security for cloud storage services, network security, access control, etc., are essential when dealing with any cloud application. Two, programming and scripting. Why should only developers learn security? Security engineers should learn coding too. There's two reasons why. The first is that knowing how to code will allow you to write automation scripts for security activities in the cloud and build them into your CI CD pipeline. You can also codify access control policies, reducing the time you spend on manual security tasks. The second reason is much simpler. When you know how to write code, you can talk to developers in their language and explain your security findings to them in a way they'll understand. This goes a long way to help them identify, replicate, and remediate vulnerabilities more easily. Now, back to the skills you need for cloud security, the third one is identity and access management controls. One of the most common ways for an attacker to compromise cloud applications is to mess with access control policies and escalate privileges. You could honestly solve half your cloud security problems with good implementation of IAM. The fourth skill is logging and monitoring. It's easy to build a software, deploy it to production, and just forget about it. But even if you've tested your apps for security, you're bound to come across brand new threats and attack vectors once it's out in the real world. You should learn how to set up security monitoring services which will alert you when they detect suspicious activity so you can stop the attack before it does any serious damage. The fifth skill you need is DevSecOps. Modern engineering teams are building larger, more complex applications and often have to deploy new builds every single day. At that rapid pace of DevOps, there's no way security can keep up if you're doing everything manually. Automating security testing and building these tests into a CI CD pipeline is essential for security to keep pace with development. And companies are always looking for people with skills in DevSecOps. Skill number six is communication. You really can't take people's skills for granted. Teams are highly interdependent, and as a security engineer, you need to be able to interface with, for example, the cloud engineers to make sure that the new feature they're building uses a secure API. Meanwhile, the front-end engineer is building an interface which could potentially be compromised. So you have to work with them to get it tested, etc., etc. When there's so many moving parts and people involved, knowing how to effectively communicate with them is an amazing skill to have. And lastly, we have a bonus skill, containers and Kubernetes. Now, this isn't something you'll need to think about in the beginning because a lot of companies still don't use Kubernetes, but it's quickly becoming one of the most sought after skills in tech. So if you train in containers and Kubernetes security, you can be sure that companies are already looking for people like you. Okay, so now we know the skills you need for a career in cloud security. But what exactly will you be doing as a cloud security engineer? To understand this better, it helps to divide the role into three experience levels. Junior, Senior, and Lead Cloud Security Engineer. At the junior level, which by the way is not a junior level in security overall, cloud security engineers spend most of their time responding to alerts from various tools the team has set up across the cloud infrastructure. 
This includes security scanners, assessment tools, and monitoring systems for whatever cloud providers the organization is using. The senior level engineer is actually implementing these tools and systems. They're responsible for setting up, configuring, and deploying these various tools in the cloud, conducting security assessments and audits, and ensuring compliance with relevant security standards. They're also in charge of things like access control policies and monitoring the cloud environment. A lead cloud security engineer has more of a big picture role on the team. They're the ones identifying critical security gaps in the organization's cloud environment and exploring viable solutions to fill those gaps, keeping in mind factors like time and budget. The lead is also driving the overall direction of the cloud security team and collaboration with the developers, architects, etc. Now that you understand what you'd be doing in your brand new role, the most important question is, how will you train to become a cloud security engineer? The good news is, all three cloud providers offer some sort of security training. I'll drop some links below the like button. AWS probably has the most amount of free content, which includes video-based self-paced learning, some white papers, and a handful of workshops. Azure also offers some self-paced lessons, but these are almost exclusively text-based and have no video content. Google Cloud has a combination of free and paid training, ranging from video lessons to hands-on labs. But the problem is, most of these trainings are poorly organized and don't nearly have enough hands-on content. If you want to learn cloud security, you need the experience of solving actual cloud security problems in a real-world environment. AppSec Engineer has the most comprehensive cloud security training suite in the world, and all of it is hands-on. You can learn anything from access control and secrets management to DevSecOps and container security. We've got video content, lab exercises, and challenges where you can test your security skills. Basically, anything you can do at your cloud security job, you can do in our labs. AppSec Engineer teaches you all the skills you need to land a high paying cloud security job, even in a tough market like today. You can try out our courses and hands-on labs for free at appsecengineer.com. Check the link in the description and start learning now.